France's first World Cup captain was killed for supporting Hitler. On Boxing Day 1944, France's first World Cup captain was executed by a firing squad for cooperating with Adolf Hitler during World War II. It was a day Alex Villaplane hailed as the best day of my life, when France made its World Cup debut against Mexico in 1930. After joining the French Gestapo during the German occupation, he was condemned to death and executed by firing squad on the outskirts of Paris. Among the seven other traitors hanged with Villaplane were some of France's most terrible criminals. Villaplane, who was born in Algeria in 1905 and moved to France at the age of 16, was the first North African footballer to play for France. During his early career, he was admired for his aerial presence and passing abilities with FC set before going to Nîmes in 1927. Even though much of his career occurred before the introduction of professionalism in French football, he was also criticized for his opulent lifestyle. He was viewed as a significant player in Antibes' attempt to rig a match and win the league championship, which led to his dismissal from the club. After that, he moved to Nice, where he was often penalized for missing training sessions. For rigging horse races, Villaplane was sent to prison in 1935. By the time the Nazis invaded France in 1940, Villaplane had been smuggling gold. An organization that would become known as the French Gestapo was formed by Henry Lafont after he persuaded him to join the organization. Later, he was picked to head the brutal Brigade Nord Africaine, an immigrant fighter unit. For his atrocities, Villaplane was placed to trial when Paris was liberated in 1944. It was at his trial when the prosecutor said that they pillaged, raped and robbed. They killed, robbed, and worked with the Germans to do even worse things.